What's going on everyone? Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with episode 2 of Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. In episode 1 we built our bike and left home and went to Bone Town. And now in this episode we are going to explore Bone Town. So thank you for joining me and let's get going with Willie Morgan. Bone Town, here I come. Let's go. something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still ought to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. 
And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. Locked. I can't open it. It's locked. I don't think I should touch anything. That yellow tape does not bode well. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. First I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. It's locked. back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. 
Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um... Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? A very strong draft ransacked my room. You should be more careful about leaving the door open. Hurricanes are frequent this time of year. Summer hurricanes localized into one room in particular? You can't rule anything out. Otherwise, what do you think happened? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? Yes, I always travel with a gold bar. Yes, of course. And do you usually leave it in hotel rooms as a tip? I am extremely generous. I put a bank check for $100,000 in the safe. What safe? Hmm. My wedding ring. It was worth a fortune. How old is your wife? That is rude. You don't ask a lady her age. I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The dead man is in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. I'd rather not touch that substance. I'd rather not touch that substance. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. You have all the services of the Dead Man Inn at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the Do Not Disturb. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem. It speeds up my boot. But climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. What's the do not disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, do not disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it.
Thanks, very useful. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> I'd rather not touch that substance. Let's see if I can. Done. This sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me. I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. Just how I pictured it. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. This is my chance. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last! I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place, or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. Look 
Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. I can't do this. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue.